What's going on everyone? So I recently had a viewer by the name of Eric reach out to me saying he had a lot of stuff to sell. Funko Pops, cards, a little bit of video games, collectibles, just a really wide variety of stuff. So he sent me a few pictures, I kind of looked through everything, and we went back and forth on price for a little bit, and then finally came to the final number, and I just went up there today and bought it all. I've got everything pulled out, I'm gonna show you what I bought. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of Funko Pops, and I noticed that Funko Pops have seemed to have been like falling off for the last six months, year or so. I've made probably a dozen Funko Pop buys over the last three or four years, and it seems like every Funko buy I make, it's harder to sell than the previous one. So I've been super hesitant uh, buying Funko collections just because they aren't selling as fast as they used to. They aren't selling for as much money as they used to. So I just always try to make sure that I get them at the right price. But even with the Funko Pops, there's a variety of other stuff too. I like making bulk buys like this because... If something doesn't sell for as much as I think it will, typically something else will sell for a little bit more to kind of make up for it. So let's dig into this and see what I got. We got King Griffey Jr. Uh, starting lineup. These starting lineup figures, they made so many of them, so they're really not worth a ton. Um, this Griffey double might be worth about 10 bucks, I think. We got, let's see, another Griffey and two more Griffeys. I actually got four Griffeys total, so... Those are pretty cool. We've got, um, I think about 10 Ninja Turtles. Uh, these are modern. I think these are from early 2000s, maybe even more modern than that. It should be a year on here, 2014. So yeah, we got Foot Soldier, uh, Raphael in Disguise, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. So at least got all four plus some extras. That's cool. Delta Don Don Donatello. Have you guys seen how they are uh, remaking the vintage? Like it says classic collections made to look uh, like the original ones from the 90s with the packaging and everything, pretty cool. Uh, Splinter, April, and Shredder. Okay, up here in the Funko Pops, there's a ton of them. I did my best to kind of spread them out so you guys could see them. What I saw for the vast majority, it seems like the average selling price is around 10 bucks or so. And sometimes that's including free shipping, which is gonna cost me about five bucks. So I definitely factored that in with this buy. Some really cool ones though. Yeah. Minnie Mouse, Rainbow Troll, uh, Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burgers. Uh, Garfield, Jordan, Stan Lee, The Beast, there's Gaston, Cogsworth, Stitch, Mickey Mouse. You got some Madrigals from Encanto. Mary Poppins, Sully. Firefighter Mickey, some Raya, there's Quasimodo, Jack-Jack from Incredibles, Fireman Dumbo, that Pluto one's really cool. Here's Carl from Up, down here we got a uh, Chase Jackie Robinson, that's really neat. Uh, Odie, Sub-Zero, Wrestling, there's Lumiere. A few more boxes of Funkos down here too, so we've got Harry Potter, Han Solo, Gilderoy Lockhart, Robin Hood, uh, Glow in the Dark, uh, Buzz Lightyear Alien. That's one of the remix. That's, those are cool where they have an alien dressed up like another Disney character. Uh, Inside Out Bing Bong. That's funny. Uh, Goonies, Tommy Pickles. That's classic. Loved Rugrats as a kid. And then a lot of these alien remixes. Yeah, there's a ton of those. The Cardinal remix. I like that. And then we've got Flash, Aquaman, Arthur Curry. Here's a couple G.I. Joes. What do we got down here? More G.I. Joe. Yeah, a lot of G.I. Joes. More G.I. Joe down there. Leatherneck, Duke. Yeah, so pretty good variety of Funko Pops. Um, some of these might not be worth listing individually. You know, if they're only going for a few bucks plus shipping, it's probably not worth my time to list them individually. So I might do a bulk lot with uh, all the ones that really aren't worth listing individually. We'll see. Let's see, we got uh, James Harden, a little collectible mini, and then we got a bunch of wrestling figures. I think these are fairly modern too. I know nothing about wrestling. So oh, here we go, 99. So yeah, if there's any tips, tricks, or you know, info on the wrestling stuff that you guys could tell me, definitely leave a comment below. What I'll probably do with this wrestling stuff is just 
do one big auction lot. Uh, just, you know, lay them all out, take a bunch of pictures, and uh, run an auction. Start at a buck. Here's the video game stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. We've got a couple PSP. There's Twisted Metal. A lot of uh, sports games. Here's some PS1 games. A couple of the games kind of stood out to me. So we got WCW Nitro, Warzone, SmackDown 2. This is cool. WWF in your house. Back when it was still WWF. Uh, and then some more sports games. Got some mini helmets that I thought were really neat. Uh, these are, I think, Rydell. There's uh, Tennessee. And the rest, I think, are mostly uh, NFL. Well, they're South Carolina. St. Louis Rams, now the LA Rams. This is, I think, Florida State. Probably Florida State. Uh, the Dolphins, Raiders. There's the Broncos, Texans, Bucks, Ravens, Vikings, and the Packers. Once again, I might just do a you know maybe two different like bulk lots with these because i'm not sure individually they'll go for a whole lot but luckily they're really light i mean this probably only weighs three four ounces at most and then with the box um make it, it definitely wouldn't cost that much to ship got a bunch of sodas um these are the chase sodas so we've got uh bebop and with the sodas you don't know they're a chase until you open it up and it's like a variation I actually didn't know anything about the sodas for a while, and then I started learning more and more. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Venom, Chase, She-Hulk Chase, and I think there's different variations of the Chase. You know, different ones they only made so many of. So sometimes it's tricky finding, you know, the right one when you go to sell it. Uh, but when I looked these up uh, a week or two ago when we were talking, it definitely seemed like there was some demand for some of these chases uh, this is cool this is a uh, custom godzilla i'll have to crack this open and show you guys all right so this is the godzilla very cool uh, and then all these are just regular sodas i think so we've got groot the heat miser felix the cat another godzilla an astronaut who that is Yondu Drax yeah a lot of Marvel in here there's Bumble yeah really good variety of the sodas got a box of comics and I don't know anything about comics so once again I might just be doing a bulk lot with these um, I don't think these are super old by any means because the price tag on here is a dollar uh, let's see Tarzan well, price tag on these is 30 cents, 60 cents. Green Arrow, that's always an indicator for you for uh, roughly how old they are. But some of them even have the years, like 77, Space Odyssey. I know with comics, you got to look for, like, first appearances and things like that. I just I don't know. I don't know anything about them. Here's Thor, Black Panther, that's pretty cool. Captain Marvel, Iron Man. So definitely some good titles. Daredevil, Fantastic Four. Yeah, I think there will be some demand for these. I think they're all mostly Marvel. At least most of what I've seen so far has been Marvel. Ross, Spider-Man, Hulk. Hulk. So that, that'll make it easy if I'm lotting them up to just do maybe two or three big Marvel lots. There's X-Men. So yeah, those will be fun to go through. Got some Loungefly backpacks. These things are so cool. Um, This one, to be honest, I'm not sure... I'm gonna feel stupid. I don't know what this pattern is. Like you've got the desert back here and then there's some initials. I'm sure you guys know better than me. It's a 50th anniversary, but I don't know. Tell me what these initials are. Love this one. Watched that movie a ton when I was a kid. And last but not least, Finding Nemo. Yeah, pretty cool backpacks. Then to round it out, we've got uh, He-Man. This is uh, one of the six inch Funkos, uh, Bride of Frankenstein, this is a figure, got a couple hats, it's a cool red hat, uh, the Giants, we've got this uh, kids carrying uh, harness, got a worth softball bat, I thought this was really cool, this is um, Select 96, so you got Griffey, Ripken, 
Maddox, and Mo Vaughn. Whole bunch of Pokemon cards. Uh, we've got all these that are loose. And then all of these uh, in the cases. This one's graded. I don't know a thing about Pokemon cards. I mean, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of the characters. I don't know the values. But yeah, there's some pretty cool ones in here. Again, this might be something where I just lot them all up and just try to do one big auction. So for everything you saw there, I paid $600. There really isn't any high dollar items, so to speak, but I think there's some money to be made if I get everything listed, everything sold. And Eric, I just want to thank you again for the deal on everything, man. I really appreciate it. And it was great meeting you. Let me know how I did. If you would have bought this stuff, if you would have paid more than 600, less than 600, if you think it was a good buy, bad buy, whatever, I'd love to know your input. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.